On this episode of China Uncensored, CCTV does a bang-up job reporting on the Sichuan earthquake. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Sichuan province has been devastated by a major earthquake, but never fear. The boys in red are on the ground taking charge of the situation. This isn't the 2008 Sichuan earthquake. The government is quick to respond, getting people the help they need. Wait, what the great leap forward? Is there anybody on that stretcher? I mean, it looks like the belt is tied flat against it, but that kind of looks like somebody's nose. I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean, CCTV reporting on the earthquake has been pretty suspect from the beginning. They didn't even report on it for several hours after it happened, and they also said the affected area, Lushan County, had a population of 24,000, actually has more around 120,000, but you know, no biggie. <laughs> The 2008 Sichuan earthquake was a publicity nightmare for the Communist Party. Officials were criticized for their slow response and, because of how easily buildings collapsed, blamed for embezzling money meant for construction. So, obviously they're in a hurry to do some major PR. So, for example, an unnamed official told AP that all the buildings built after 2008 didn't collapse. Of course, since reporters have been asked not to go to the quake zone, and the first thing the military did when they got into the region was to turn away activists and Tibetan monks trying to get into the area, it kind of makes it hard to confirm whether or not that's true. But, I mean, those things don't make the glorious party look glorious, but an emergency helicopter airlift is just about as gloryful as you can get. Oh. Ironically, one of the only buildings not damaged in the least was a 700-year-old temple. Actually, during severe floods in Beijing last summer, the entire city, with its modern infrastructure and drainage system, was completely flooded. The only place where the drainage system actually worked was the centuries-old Forbidden City. Those silly, feudalistic ancients. But in CCTV's rush to show just how on top of things the government is, they kind of let some major things slip. Remember back in March when 16,000 dead pigs washed up in Shanghai's Huangpu River? As you may recall, China's state-run media was quick to report that experts said the water was absolutely safe to drink and there was no possibility that the pigs, many of which had died from disease, could spread disease. Whew. What a relief. But then there's this from a story CCTV ran about epidemic prevention efforts being made in the aftermath of the earthquake. They even interviewed an expert on the scene about what's being done to stop the spread of disease. If left undisposed, viruses from a dead pig can be spread by migratory birds and insects, leading to secondary disasters. What did he just say? Now, let me see if I understand their logic. CCTV is telling the Chinese people that if pigs die in an earthquake, migratory birds could feed on their corpses and spread disease. but. If those pigs die of disease and are dumped in people's drinking water, then there's no way disease could be spread. Now, to be fair, there is a pretty big difference in the scenarios. Authorities can't be blamed for pigs that die in an earthquake. 16,000 pigs dumped in a river, on the other hand. And it's funny, shortly after those pigs washed up in Shanghai, a new strain of what the World Health Organization is calling the most lethal bird flu virus started spreading right in the area. Of course, that could just be a coincidence, but you got to wonder, could birds in the area have picked up anything from the dead pigs? At least it seems that's what CCTV's experts would say. So what do you think about CCTV's reporting? Share your thoughts by either commenting below, or you can follow me on Twitter, or like China Uncensored on Facebook. And as always, be sure to subscribe for more episodes of China Uncensored. Censored. Censored. Answer. Thank you for watching China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. I'll see you next time.